Hello! So I wanted to show you some easy, quick do's for when your hair is like dirty, or you just want it out of your face, and this works for short hair and long hair, and personally, I think it's a little bit cuter on shorter, medium length hair. So it's gonna be three looks. They're kind of all similar, but you can choose which way you like to style it. So the first one is gonna be a mohawk bun, which is very similar to a messy bun, but it's only this part of your hair. So if you're wearing extensions, or if you have thinner hair and you want it to look thicker. Um, I really like this because it gives you height and it pulls your hair out of your face, but it gives you all of your side hair to work with to get like a really fun curly texture to go with it. So to give it a little bit of like volume, um, you are gonna take the front and I like to use a dry shampoo or a texture something right up here. Just give it a little poof like this. And then go at your eyebrows, scoop around it like this. And you're gonna make, it's not a lot of hair. You're gonna be like, ah, uh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> but it does, okay? So just take about this much because you want your bun to sit pretty much on top of your head. And then get a very skinny elastic. I like to use clear ones. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Let's just do one. Like this, a couple times around, okay? And on the last one, you're not gonna pull it all the way through. You just pull it like this. And depending on the length of your hair, it's gonna vary. But my hair is a little bit longer, so I do it like that. I'm gonna tighten it up, because I like to have a little bit of a poof right there. Okay, so then you have this little bun thing back here. So you're gonna pull it down in just different directions and make a cute little bun. Don't overthink this, okay? This is the easy part. And as long as you got a good supply of bobby pins, it's really not that overwhelming, okay? So I always take a little front piece section, pull that down, and I take a side piece section. And and I always kind of lay it down and see how it's gonna look before I pin it. So there we go. Sorry, my mirror's over here. <laughs> I'm a little backwards in the camera. And then same thing on the other side. And I like this too, because even if I do it when like my hair is clean, um, it is on top of your head. So if I go to sleep, <laughs> it stays perfect. And then one more in the back to just round out the shape. And like I said, don't overthink it. Like messy buns are not supposed to be perfect. They're just supposed to be messy and just kind of fiddle with it and boom, that's it. Okay, so the next look is going to be the same thing except we're gonna do a little mini mohawk French braid and put it in a cute like, I don't know, half pony thing. So, Again, I like to have texture up in here, so I like to use my dry shampoo, kind of rough it up a little bit. Um, you can tease the front and then comb it out, and that gives you some volume, which looks like this, where you like tease it, spray it, and then comb it back out, and it just gives you some texture to work with. Okay, so a lot of people get a little bit confused when it comes to French braiding on top of their head, just with what direction your fingers go. So I, this is the easiest for me. So I pick up a section. What are we looking at? That's about an inch. It's kind of hefty in the front. You don't want to go too thin just because you want it to poof a little. So you grab three sections like this. I'm going to do French, not Dutch. So you're going to separate. You're going to grab and cross and then reposition. Grab the other side and cross and reposition. And then try to stay in a straight line. You're gonna pick up just a little bit of hair and you're going to cross over. And same thing on this side. You're going to cross over. There we go. And when I'm doing this braid, I kind of hold it up in the air because then when I put it down, it gives it a little bit of a poof and not lay so tight to my head. So same thing. And with a mohawk section, you don't have a ton of room to do 
a bunch of these braids. So you're probably gonna crisscross maybe five times total, like three on each side, making six I can add. <laughs> Then you put it here. I'm gonna do one more for good. No, actually, actually I'm landing about here. So I'm gonna stop. So same thing, grab a little clear hair tie. Go ahead and tie that baby off. This is great if you have finer hair and you want to make your hair look like there's more to it. So I like to push it a little bit forward by tightening this, okay? And this is what I want. I want it to sit up here. So then you pick up a piece of your hair, and this is optional, you don't have to do this part, but it helps your pony stand up on top of your head. So I'm just gonna go around. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go around and around and around till I run out of hair. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pin it into my hair, preferably Pinning it back. Oh, that's kind of hectic over there. Okay. And then grab a comb and some texture spray. Of course, I love my Unite Texturizer. So I'm gonna get this a little bit messy because it needs some grit. If you wanna curl your hair first, that is great too. So I'm just teasing this whole ponytail up here just to give it some lift. And you can push it forward so you have more of that shape. You can just wear it back and have a good textured pony that's back here and put some curls in it. Um, this is really cute with teasing the sides. Okay, you can do that. Or like I did yesterday at the gym, you could take the same thing after you've done it. You don't have to tie it off like this. And then you can bring all your hair up if you wanna get it all out of your face, or if this is your dirty hair day, because <laughs> we all need a solution for that. And then, so you can get a hair tie and put it as high as possible. Put that hair tie in it. There you go. And it's really cute because it sits high on your head. There's your French braid. You can see. And then if it's curled or dirty, then you can just add to it and put more texture spray in there. Tease the top. Add some sass. <laughs> it's really easy. Really easy and just don't overthink it. It looks better than you think. And if your hair's short, this is still super, super cute, but just like a fun ponytail. So yeah, that's it. I hope these are easy. If you have questions, let me know.